What's up YouTube? This is Demonic Midwinter back with another video. Today is another CD collection update. Um, so this video is going to be on sections E and G as I don't have anything for F at the moment. Um, but anyways, to start off, we have Emperor in the Night Side Eclipse. I believe I got this off of Discogs. I could be wrong, but this is the remaster off of um, Candlelight and came out in 04. If you love Black Metal and, never heard, and you haven't heard of this album, check it out. It's incredible. It's one of my favorite black metal releases ever, and that's coming from somebody who doesn't enjoy black metal all that much. But check it out um, for sure. Next up, we have the 2021 release from Enforced, Killgrid. Um, this is an incredible release from them. It just came out about a week, week and a half ago, I believe. Uh, I picked this up at my local record store, and it, it did not disappoint um, at all. Next up is another um, record store buy. And so from Thalassic, this came out last year. They're an epic folk metal band from Finland, I believe. I could be completely wrong on that, but if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely do so. You're missing out on some great epic folk metal. Um, yeah, it's also such, some incredible artwork. Um, definitely check it out. Next up is a album I got from a grab bag. I forget from where exactly, but we have Enslaved with Issa. Um... To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Enslaved, but I have another album from them, which I'll get to in a second. But um, they're a pretty solid Viking slash black metal out of Norway, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but um, pretty solid. And it's not bad. Not my favorite thing, though. Again, not the big. I'm not the biggest fan of black metal. But anyway, we have now we have um, Enslaved with their 2020 release Utgard. Um, this was a little bit better than Issa, but. Still not my favorite thing in the world. Um, check it out if you like black metal and Viking metal. Just not my thing, really. Um, got Utgard from, I think, my local record store. I could be wrong on that, but I don't know. Check it out if you haven't listened to it. You might enjoy it. Like I said, it's probably one of my favorite real albums of all time. With Entombed, Left Hand Path. Um, easily my favorite Entombed album ever. Probably one of my all-time favorite albums. Um... LG Petrov, may he rest in power, was an icon for death metal. Um, he was one of my favorite death metal vocalists and um, and vocalists in general. And um, check this out if you haven't heard of it. I got this thing I think from Nuclear Blast a, a while ago, but um, I absolutely love this album. Um, next up is we have some more in tune with um clandestine i got this i believe off of discogs and for whatever reason i also didn't have the case i don't know what happened to it but whatever it's clandestine pretty solid stuff not as, to me not as good as in, with um as left hand path but still pretty good um and finally from in tune we have um wolverine blues same thing with clandestine i don't know what happened to the case but um pretty solid album as well again not as good as um Left Hand Path, but still really good. They're sweet. If I didn't mention this, um, they're Swedish death metal slash death and roll band, and they are incredible. Um, and now we have Entombed AD with um, Battles of Earth. This was, I believe, their 2019 release. This was, um, I believe, it was LG Petrov's last full length before he sadly passed away about a week ago. But um, check this out too if you haven't heard of, if you haven't listened to it. Pretty solid stuff. Next up, we have some thrash metal, or I believe thrash metal, I could be wrong, but um, they're a um, Canadian band, I believe, Entropy, with Force Convergence. I got this from a metalhead box a long time ago, not, or maybe not uh, too long ago, I just don't remember exactly when. Really pretty good stuff, though, not gonna lie. Um, I gotta check out more of their albums and pick up a new copy of this at some point. Um, next up, we have the new brand new epica album this just came out like a like a like two weeks ago this is omega this is incredible um i just listened to this for the first time uh over the weekend and it did not disappoint I, i've loved epica for a long time and this really did not disappoint simone simon's vocals are incredible as per usual and actually epica was one of the last years i saw before covid lockdown um next up we have um the side project of I believe Vader's um, vocalist, um, I forget his name, but um, with Escariel with Burton's Burn the Ground Strategy. I got this when I saw Vader with, um, who was it? Vitriol, Hideous Divinity, and 
Abyssal Dawn at probably one of the heaviest shows I've ever seen. Also right before lockdown. Um, not my favorite album from them. Or not my favorite thing from any band. I mean, it's good, just not something I would normally listen to. They're like a progressive death metal band, I believe. Um, I mean, they're on hold. They're on hold, but they, I mean, they're like a side. They're a side project. They're not my. They're not a good side project. I mean, we'll see if they ever release music again. I, I mean, I'll probably check it out if they ever do. But um, we'll see. Next up, we have a friends band. I have a. Uh, a CD from a friend's band, Exemptus, with um, Sentence by Delusion. This came out in, I believe, 2017. I got this directly from the band, actually, because, again, I'm good friends with them. They're a power thrash band out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, definitely check them out if you haven't. Um, they are inc they're incredible and incredible live as well. Um, definitely, if you ever get the chance to see them, go see them. Um, they they won't disappoint. That's up. We have the 2019 album from X Order, Mourn the Southern Skies. This was the first release in like 27 years, I believe. Something insane. I need a new copy of this. I got this, I believe, from my local record store. Just in just like this. Um, I need a new copy. I saw it there a couple days ago, and I definitely need to pick it up. A, a new copy. Definitely check it out, though. Um, solid stuff from X Order. Um, next up, and finally, we have. Um, Gojira L'Enfant Sauvage, probably butchering that, but, um, got this, I don't remember exactly where I got this, uh, it came like this from what I can remember, I mean, it's, I mean, I enjoy Go Gojira, but not my favorite, um, band at, by any means, but pretty solid stuff anyways, um, anyways, um, that's all for the video, hopefully you enjoyed, um, stay metal.